As we gather into the sanctuary, good morning, Macedonia. And to all of our friends and loved ones who come to share with us on this another day that the Lord has made. We say good morning. We're so grateful and thankful that we got up this morning to see another beautiful day. So we come to thank God in the beauty of holiness. We come to give him glory. We come to give him the praise for the God we serve. I don't know about you this morning, but the God that we serve, he is truly worthy. Anybody know he's worthy this morning? I said the God that we serve is truly worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, our God is worthy to be praised. Therefore, we come today to magnify him. We come to lift him up. We come to give him all of the praise for truly he is worthy and deserving of all of our praise. We're going to ask now if Deacon Cross would come that he may lead us in our worship on this morning. Give him a hand as he come in his own way. Another great day that the Lord has spared us to have. I am so happy to be here in it and here among my church family to represent this morning. Heavenly Father, we're going to ask you if you would stand for the reading of our scripture, which is Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures for all generations. Let us pray. This morning, our Heavenly Father, we come to you once again thanking you for the many blessings that you've allowed us to have. Thanking you for our health and strength. Thanking you for the family that we have around us this morning, my Heavenly Father. Thank you for this opportunity to come and praise your name. My Heavenly Father, we ask you to continue to bless us, strengthen us, and not only us here in this church, my Heavenly Father, but among this city, there's so much help that is needed. We ask you to strengthen us and lead us to help those that's in need of help. Our Heavenly Father, we ask you to go with us and stand by us this day. Teach us, O oh Lord, to be better Christians. Teach us to serve you and ask you that you to continue to allow us the opportunities that we have to serve you. Heavenly Father, we ask you to go with us now and stand by us. Lead, guide, and direct us that we might be the servants that you would have us be. These and other blessings we ask in your Son's name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We would ask that you would stand now for our morning hymn. Pass me now.
Lord, I thank you for blessing, blessing me. Lord, I thank you for dying on Calvary. If it had not been for you, Lord, I don't know what I would do. Lord, I thank you for blessing, blessing me. Let me say that again. Lord, I thank you for blessing. Blessing me. Lord, I thank you for dying on Calvary. If it had not been for you, Lord, I don't know what I would do. When I didn't have a roof over my head, Lord, you blessed me when I didn't have clothes on my back. You blessed me when I didn't have On my table, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for blessing, for blessing, blessing me. Yeah, blessing me. Say that again. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for blessing, for blessing, blessing me. Blessing me. Help me, boys. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank, thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you. Watched over me while I slept and slumbered. Lord, I thank you. So many times you put food on my table, clothes on my thank head, you. shoes on my feet. Lord, I thank you. For your mercy. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy and grace. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your son. Thank you. Who went out on Calvary Cross. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for health and strength. Giving me a right mind. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. For blessing, for blessing, blessing me. Yeah. Blessing me. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. For blessing, for blessing, blessing me. Our announcements for today are as follows.
Thank you. Dear Pastor Curry, First Lady, Women's Day Committee, and Macedonia Church family, sending a heartfelt thank you for the lovely tribute paid to me on Women's Day. I am grateful and humbled by the kind words, the plaque, and the loving expressions from my church family. It has been a blessing to worship and serve, to fellowship, to grow and raise my family within the loving kindness of Macedonia. Thank you, Sister Winnie Walker. With thanks, a big thanks to Macedonia for recognizing our military branch of service last Sunday. I'm grateful to all the men and women who have served to protect our freedom. Let us continue to pray for the protection and safety for our military families. Brother Robert Gibson. Counting our blessings, the staff at Mission Convalescent Home are very thankful for those who are of great importance to us during this Thanksgiving season. Our residents and their families are the reason that we continue to strive to provide the utmost quality care. We are so grateful to have all of you as part of our Mission Convalescent Home family. Come join us, family, neighbors, and friends, Thanksgiving dinner will be held November the 19th at 6 p.m. Sincerely, Dwayne Cherry, Administrator. The Jackson Madison County Regional Health Department will offer free flu vaccines on Tuesday, November the 19th. The free flu shots will be available at the Jackson Madison County Regional Health Department from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m while supplies last. You do not need an appointment or insurance to get a free flu shot that day. Flyers are also located at the welcome desk in the foyer. The Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, President, Faculty, and Graduating Classes of Tennessee State University announced Kiyosha Teamer is a candidate for the degree of Bachelor of Applied Business Administration and Management at the commencement exercises Saturday, December the 7th, 2019 at eight o'clock in the morning, Gentry Center, Gentry Center Complex. The Mother's Board is asked to meet a few minutes after services in the area next to the Fellowship Hall, Sister Mabel Tamer. Men of Macedonia, we are still in need of volunteers for the Room in the Inn. We host this event every second and fourth Wednesday night from November until April. Please see Deacon Willie Owens or Brother Gary Ross to sign up. This service is much needed and your willingness to serve is greatly appreciated. Lost and found. There are items that have been left here at the church. Please see the church secretary to claim these items, such as umbrellas, bibles, shoes, etc. <laughs> Reminder. Any and all announcements to be printed in the bulletin, please be given to the church secretary by the close of business on Wednesday. On next Sunday, November the 24th, we will worship with Center Point Baptist Church at 1.30 p.m. as they celebrate their annual Men and Women's Day. We will leave the church after morning services. The youth choir will rehearse this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Those are our announcements for today. Will all of our visitors please stand at this time? Amen. Amen. On behalf of our pastor, Reverend Reginald Curry, and our first lady, and the entire Macedonia church family, I would like to welcome you to our services on this morning. We are so excited that God led you to worship with us on today. And if you're looking for a church home, please prayerfully consider Macedonia for your place of worship. Thank you, and please do come again. Amen. Thank you, Sister Thompson. 
We ask that you would please, sir, please, ma'am, govern yourselves according to the announcements. Uh, we take on the sentiments of Sister Thompson and the entire church family. We're so glad to have you here to worship with us on this morning. And our prayer is that something will be said or done that would further your walk with Christ, for truly it is about our walk with him. Uh, ushers, you may let those who are in the lobby in. Uh, let us not forget on next Sunday that we will be worshiping with Centerpoint. Uh, Baptist Church uh, at 1.30, so we will leave immediately from uh, this service uh, to go to Centerport to fellowship with them. I'm going to ask the music ministry if they would choose which choir would go with us on next Sunday. Again, I'm going to ask the music committee if they would, music ministry if they would uh, select which choir goes with us on next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Anyone celebrating a birthday today, November the 17th, or maybe this week through the 23rd, if you're here, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, you stand alone today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to, to, to those who may be celebrating birthdays this week. Again, we want you to know that the church family uh, shares and celebrates with you on your date of birth, and may the Lord bless you to continue to see many more years of your birth. Any anniversaries this week, the 17th through the 23rd? Any anniversaries? Not a good week, amen. All right. uh, we thank God and we bless God. I want to remind us that we will have spiritual enrichment uh, on this Wednesday evening. Um, uh, prayer beginning at 6. Uh, our teaching session begins at 6.30. We want to encourage you to come and be with us on this Wednesday, for we will meet this Wednesday, Spiritual Enrichment. Also, noonday Bible study will take place. Our midday manor will take place this Wednesday from 1130 to 1230. So we will be in session on this week. So we ask that you would, please, ma'am, please, sir, come and support Spiritual Enrichment or midday manor or do both. Uh, we would greatly appreciate your participation. Amen. want to thank those who um, journeyed uh, to support the Worthing family on yesterday and the loss of Brother John's sister. Thank you for your support. and Certainly we thank God that he gave you traveling grace there and back. And so we ask that you would continue to pray for uh, the Worthing family. Also, um, I want to uh, thank those who participated Wednesday at Room in the Inn. I saw some new faces uh, this Wednesday evening, and I want you to know that we appreciate you volunteering. And I know that we're asking for men to stay, but, we're all, but we actually still need women to help participate because we do feed them uh, in the evening. And so we're, we're not only needing men, but we're needing women as well to volunteer for Room in the Inn. And that's every second and fourth Wednesday of the month uh, for the next five months we will be doing a uh, room at the end here at Macedonia so if you can't do every when every second and fourth Wednesday at some point in time if you can be of service and help your help will greatly be appreciated amen with that being said Macedonia oh before I go there there's one more thing uh, pastor's appreciation and love day is coming up third Sunday in February. <laughs> Just to get your minds on it and refreshed and, and let you know, kind of get you, you know, thinking about it. You know, if you need to put some back or got some in mind, whatever you need to do, I just want to bring that forward that it is coming up. And uh, we're, we're grateful and we're thankful to God for the opportunity that we've had to serve you for truly it has been a blessing for sister curry and i to serve here at macedonia we love you we appreciate all that you have done all that you are we thank god for each and every one of you okay i got that out of the way macedonia it's giving time oh let me say it again macedonia it's giving time we come to god today to give unto him a portion of that which he's given unto us believing that our god can give more back to us than we can give to him so we come today to bless God in our giving, for giving is a part of worship. And we come to worship our God and our Savior in our giving, for we do believe that the Lord loveth a cheerful giver. So we come today with joy in our hearts that we have the opportunity to give back unto him a portion of that which he's given unto us. And we just believe, God, that he honors his word. 
they used to sing a song you can't beat God's giving no matter how you how you try it I, I just believe that you can't beat it I don't care how hard you try uh, he, he does more for us than we could ever do for ourselves for that we are grateful for that we are truly thankful with that being said let us thank God in advance for these gifts our God and our Father we bless your name we give you the praise we thank you for this opportunity that we have to give back unto you portion of that which you've given unto us we ask now God that you would bless the gift and bless the giver let what is about to be received be used for the purpose in which it is given Lord our prayer is that none would suffer in their giving but Lord, out of their obedience to your word, Lord, we pray that you'll richly bless them. For we know that you're a God that can bless some 30, some 60, some even 100 fold. However you're blessed, Lord. Lord, bless them for their obedience. And Lord, we're going to always give you the glory. We'll give you the honor. We'll give you the praise. For it is in Jesus' name, the mighty name of Jesus, the son of the living God, we do pray today. Amen. Officers in your hand.
by. Turn around, you know the Lord. Every time I turn around, you know the Lord. Every time I turn around, you know the Lord. Over and over. to this season of Thanksgiving. We have a lot to be thankful for. Didn't you wake you up this morning? Didn't they allow you to see a day one in which you never seen before? Well, I don't know how you can sit there and not thank God for all his goodness and all his mercy. May of course, you know what I want to tell the congregation? I want to tell them something like this. He keeps blessing. He keeps blessing. He keeps blessing. You know, in my home, I'm all alone. He keeps blessing. You know, the on my job, on the highway, on the byway. You know, anybody bless, anybody bless, anybody bless. You know, he keeps blessing. He keeps blessing. He keeps blessing me. You know the Lord in my home. I'm all alone. He keeps blessing me. You know the Lord on my job, on the highway, on the byway. You know the Lord. Anybody bless me? Anybody bless me? Anybody bless me? You know the over and over.
Lord, we need your blessing. Lord, we need your blessing. Oh, Lord, just one blessing, a blessing will do. Lord, we can't go on our way. We can't make it through the day unless we have a blessing, a blessing from you. Fellas, help me sing this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we need your blessing. Oh, Lord, just one blessing. Just one blessing. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we can't go on our way. Blessing. blessing, just one blessing. blessing, yeah, yeah. Lord, some of us struggling from day to day. We are praying. You will come and show us the way. We need your strength. We need your power to run on in your name. Lord, we don't, we don't want our running. I'll run in to be in vain. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need your blessing, Lord. Lord, just one blessing. Just one blessing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, we can't go on our way. We can't make it, can't make it, can't make it through the day. Unless we have a blessing. Just one blessing. Yeah, yeah, from you. Our Father, which art in heaven, please give us our daily bread. So many of us are homeless long and don't have no place to lay our head but lord bless us keep on praying and and keep us in our right mind lord we know you may not come when we want you to come but whenever you come how many know the days always on time Lord, we need your blessing. Yeah, Lord, 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 we need your blessing right now. Yeah, Lord, just one blessing. Just one blessing. Yeah, Lord. We 
Can't make it, can't make it, can't make it through the day. Unless we have a blessing. Just one blessing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, unless we have a blessing. Just one blessing. Yeah, yeah. Anybody here, do you need a blessing? Just lift your hand today and say, we need a blessing. Just one blessing. Yeah, yeah. Lord, unless we have a blessing. Just one blessing. We need you, Lord. We have a blessing. We got to have you, Lord. Anybody here, do you need the Lord today? Can you lift your voice and help us sing? Unless we have a blessing. Yeah, yeah. One more time. Unless we have a blessing. Yeah, from you. How many need a blessing? How many know that just one blessing will do? How many know that you're blessed? Come on and give our God glory. Come on and give our God some praise. Oh, listen. What a mighty God that we serve. He's great, and he's greatly to be praised. I don't know about you, but I need the Lord's blessing. Every second, every minute, every hour of the day. We can't make it. The song said you can't make it through the day without a blessing from the Lord. So just the mere fact of you being here today is a true indication that you received a blessing. Can you give God glory for the blessing? You made it here one more time. Can you thank him for the blessing? You didn't have to be here, but he allowed you to be here. Can you thank him for the blessing? You got up this morning. Can you thank him for the blessing? You got two legs that you're able to move. Can you thank him for the blessing? You got hands that are waved. Can you thank him for the blessing? You got a tongue that'll move. You ought to open up your mouth and thank God for the, for the blessing. When will we? When will we put our focus on what true grace and mercy really is? We sang Amazing Grace. We'll sing it the old doxology way. We'll, we'll put some flavor to it. But, but do we really understand the grace of God? Do we really understand the grace of God? The grace of God is the only reason you're still here. And yet, as my eyes peruse this audience, and, and I do look all over the place, it, it's amazing to me how the God whom we say we love God whom we said we serve. In fact, we got up this morning, made our way to the house of prayer. Grandmama said one more time. And yet we sit here and won't even move our hand. You ain't got to get up at every now and then. 
when you think about how good God has been to you, somebody ought to just lift up your hand and you may not be able to stand on your two feet, but if you can just lift up your hand and give God some glory. Oh, y'all still, can you give God some praise? Because what could have happened didn't happen. What should have happened didn't happen. Can you just lift your hand and, oh, you ain't got to stand up, but if you're really happy, can you just stand to your feet? And not only stand to your feet, but lift up your hand and thank God for what could have happened but didn't happen. Thank God for what should have happened but didn't happen. Can you thank him for his grace and his mercy? Thankful. Thankful. Church, I've had some experiences in my life. Had some experiences in my life. I'm not a perfect man. Had some experiences in my life. Could have caused me to go the other way. Talk to me, somebody. But the God I serve. He kept me. He kept me, and, and, and when the time was right, he straightened me out, put me on the right course. I didn't have to be on this course that I'm on, but, but, but some way, somehow, yeah. when, the, when the time was right, he turned me around while I was yet still on turning ground, and had it not been for him, I know where I came from and had it not been for him I'd still be where I was but because of him I'm not standing up here because of me I'm standing up here because of him I need somebody to give him glory this is not about you but it's about him I'm not standing here today because of me seminary didn't put me where I am no 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 it was him that's why I can't help but thank him. I trust him. I depend on him. I lean on him. I need him. Can't make it without him. Jesus had an issue with some Jews the other day in John's gospel, 10th chapter, in that they didn't believe he was who he said he was. But Jesus wanted them to understand, wanted them to understand the importance of obedience. And, and for them to realize that not everybody that said they love God truly love God. Not everybody that said they're saved are truly saved. Uh, not everybody that says they follow Christ are truly following Christ. Jesus wanted the Jews to know that. But he also wanted those who are in the synagogue, those who are outside the synagogue, to know exactly who he was and understand his true purpose. So if you have your Bibles, John chapter 10. Jesus said this. He says, if you hang around me long enough, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And I'm, I'm thankful that Jesus is the truth and the life. I want to be made free. And the only way I can be made free is that I have to I have to understand and know the truth. John's gospel, if, if you will, let us look again reading verse 22. John chapter 10, verse 22. The text says, and it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. Jesus walked in the temple on Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews around about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. 
as I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I gave unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my father are one. Thank you. I just want to talk for a moment about the blessed assurance. I want to talk about this morning the blessed assurance. You've heard me say this in Bible study. You've heard me say this probably on Sunday morning. I had to grow up a little while. It took a little while for me to grow up, but, but, but I had to get there at some point. So when I first... When I first uh, decided, when I first had the opportunity to get a job, you know, I was searching for the job that would pay me the most money. You know, when you're looking for a job at a young age, you, you want a job that'll pay you the most money. You're not really, un not really caring about anything else. You just want to go to the place that's doing the, doing the high and that's paying the highest money. And that, that's exactly what I did and, and had that opportunity and, and, and worked it a long time. Uh, about 15 years or so, and everything was fine and well. But in those 15 years, some things happened in my life. In those 15 years, uh, Sister Curry saw I had a good job. <laughs> so she stuck close to me because she knew I'd go to work. So she, she knew that I would, I would take care of her. So she, she hung around me real close because she knew I had a good job. I'm glad she did. I'm thankful for that. Uh, but, but in the course of those 15 years, we got married. And then from getting married, and it wasn't long either. I think I started that job at 21, and she, she made me marry her at 22. So yeah, it wasn't no long time. But, but, but in the course of that time, we, we, had, we had a son. About, about four years later, we had, we had a son. And so, and so uh, you know, now I've got, I've got a responsibility. Uh, when I first started, it was just me. Uh, I'd go home when I got ready, hang out when I got ready, but, but when I got married, I had responsibility. I promised her father I'd take care of him. And then, then from there, uh, we had a son. So now I had double responsibility. And then now I've got to take care of her and I've got to take care of him. And so in those 15 years, I'm trying to help somebody because somebody may be struggling on their job today and you may just want to pack up and leave. And really now ain't the time because you got some responsibility. Because you best believe in those 15 years, some things were said to me, some things were done, in, uh, done to me, some things were happening along the way that, that there were some days I wanted to just walk out. But every time I thought about walking out, I thought about that wife at home and I thought about that son at home that needed me. And so no longer was I working for me, but I was working for them. And so I had to take a lot of stuff in those 15 years that I didn't like. Had I been just me, I'd have walked away a long time ago. But because I had responsibility, I couldn't walk away. From, from, I had to stay there until the time was right. When the time was right, God was doing a new thing in my life. Uh, I decided that it was time for me to go. I had been living in Jackson uh, the whole time, driving back and forth. I decided that I ain't want to drive no more. And there had to be something better here in Jackson. And lo and behold, it was. But this time, I was about 35 years old, close to it, in my 30s. And this time, something was a little different about me. Because over the course of those 15 years, you know, now I've got some aches and pains about the body. Body ain't, ain't nothing like it used to be. I used to could work 12 hours and then hang out all night and, and you know, get two hours of sleep and go back to work. But now I need eight hours of sleep because the body has to, you know, I got to build it back up for the next day. But, but in the course of that time, my body changed, my mentality changed. This time when I went to look for another job, while still, let me say this, I didn't quit that job. I'd help y'all. I didn't quit that job till I knew I had another job. Because, see, one thing not going to stop. Listen, she's still going to be hungry. He's still going to be hungry. And the bills don't stop. And so I, 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 while I was looking, I, I had to continue to work where I was because, you know, they, I had some folk depending on me. 
And, and, so, and so while I was working, I did have the opportunity. But this time, I had a different mentality. I wasn't concerned about how much money they paid. Now I wanted to know what type of benefits they had. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. The first job, I, it had benefits, and I, I always got the best of benefits, but see, I didn't even have to go to the doctor in them 15 years. Other than an annual physical, I, I, was, I was all right. But, but now, now that I go to this second job, I'm thinking down the road, I ain't going to always be like this. And so now I need to make sure that I, I, I'm, I'm, I've got some insurance. Th that I can depend on because my body ain't like it used to be. My, my, my strength ain't like it used to be. In fact, not only that, my health ain't like it used to be. So I made up my mind. I, no longer was I looking at how much money they paid. I want to know what type of benefits they had because at this point, I needed more benefits than I needed money. Sister Curry looking over there and like, no, you don't. Yes, I did. And I had to make sure that I understood the importance that it doesn't matter how much money I made, if, I, if my family was not covered in time of crisis, then the money that I made really meant nothing. I needed to make sure that my family was covered in times of crisis. Jesus. Anybody here today know that he is? our blessed insurance but he's also our blessed assurance for when trouble come see and this is what you need to understand about life if you're going to live this life you need to know that in this life you need some help along the way not only do you, but you need to understand the importance of you needing to be secure and covered in times of crisis Many of us, when trouble come, we don't know what to do, but there ought to be somebody in here this morning that's had some trouble and knew exactly what to do and who to go to because you knew exactly who was able to handle your problem. And I'm talking to anybody here this morning that knows the importance of having someone in your corner who has your back in times of tragedy. I wonder if there anybody here today that know that Jesus has your back in times of trouble. But, but first of all, you, you've got to put your trust in him. And one of the reasons why we're not getting what we need from God is because we're not putting our trust in God. Some of us have some doubt. Because they've been listening to other folk. And other folk then got in their head. And now they confused as to whether God is even real or not. But can I tell you, can't nobody hang the sun up in the east early in the morning. And then when the sun go down, shift it all the way to the west. And then allow it to go down. And then as the sun go down, who can make the moon show up? in the middle of nowhere and where there's darkness the moon casts off light who can nobody can do that there has to be a god somewhere so before you think that there's not a god anywhere we got one go okay nobody i need somebody to go on and and second the motion with me today can't nobody do what God can do. Who can take a brown cow, make him eat green grass, but yet produce white milk? Nobody. Who can take a dirty heart, dip it in red blood, and make it whiter than snow? Nobody. Y'all get quiet all y'all want to. I'm happy today. But somebody better start celebrating Jesus. If you really love him, you really own him. The Bible declares that if we are ashamed to own him before our brothers and sisters, he says, I'll be ashamed to own you before my father. I need somebody to own him today. I'm going to say it again. I need somebody to own him today. That means I need you to get up off your dusty, rusty, and find you a neighbor. And let your neighbor know I know him. I know him. 
Oh, you need to move around this morning. Y'all about to go to sleep on me, but I need somebody to tell somebody else. I know him. I know him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know him. I know him. Tell somebody. I know him. I know him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 